It's me, Mario! Hey everyone, so I just wanted to do a quick video here showing how to update the Analog 3D. If you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. And um, yeah, so basically there's two ways to do this, uh, but they both revolve around this SD card on the back. So basically, um, well first off, <laughs> before you unplug the SD card, make sure that your system is off. Um, so yeah, basically once your system is off though, then you can unplug the SD card and then you can use a USB-C uh, adapter, SD card to USB-C. Um, yeah, you just plug your SD card into here and then plug that into your computer. So basically you just need a way to access your SD card on your computer or you can probably do it on your phone too, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna use my computer. Um, however, if you don't have an SD card reader like that, then you can actually just leave it plugged into the analog 3D. And then uh, you're, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you unplug all of your accessories or controllers. Um, I don't think you have to unplug the game, but it's, I don't know, probably a good idea just to make sure everything's unplugged just in case. And then uh, just for, you probably don't have to unplug the HDMI cable, but just for clarity, I'm gonna do that as well. And then again, just uh, make sure that the analog 3D is off, that this LED isn't on. And then you're gonna wanna unplug it from the wall and then you can plug it directly into your computer. Um, so yeah, just this USB-C to USB-C cable that came with the analog 3D. You can see I'm using the USB-C port on the back here. So yeah, you can plug that directly into your computer. Um, now, if you don't have a USB-C port on your computer, then you can also use a USB-C to USB-A cable, um, which I think I actually probably will be using because I found that that's a bit more reliable. But yeah, we'll see if this works first. I did get this to work earlier, but um, I'll show you what happens sometimes with this USB-C to USB-C cable. Let's see if it does it. Yeah, so see, sometimes when you use the USB-C to USB-C, it just keeps on flashing and like the fan comes on for a second and then it will, yeah, it just is kind of like in this loop. And so, yeah, you don't want to update or like try to access the SD card when it's doing this. So if this is happening with you, uh, with your console, with the USB-C to USB-C cable, then yeah, just don't worry about it. Just don't use the USB-C to USB-C cable. Uh, we're just going to put that aside and I'm just going to use the USB-C to USB-A cable that came with the um, the 8 bit -O analog or the 8 bit -O N64 control that's meant to be used with this analog 3D. So yeah, we're just going to plug the USB-C into the USB-C port on the back here. There's also these USB-A ports, but yeah, don't use those. And then we're going to plug the USB-A uh, side onto the, into the computer. And then as you can see, it flashed me. Maybe you didn't see that because I wasn't pointing the camera, but it flashed once the fan came on really quickly and then it just turned off. So this is the state you want to be in. Basically just wait about five seconds after you plug it in. And if this isn't flashing <laughs> like it was before with the USB-C cable, then you're, then you're good. Um, so then at that point, you're going to want to hold down the reset button and then you're going to want to hold up on the power button until you can see that turn green. Once that uh, light turns green, then you're good and you can release it. And then if you come over to your computer, you can see that it has um, now popped up here is just a removable drive. And so yeah, I'm just gonna open that up. This is on Linux, but it should work on Windows as well or uh, Mac. Uh, but yeah, so anyway, so this is my analog 3D SD card. So yeah, so now we have that connected. So now you're gonna wanna go to this website uh, which I'll, I'll leave a link to this in the, in the description. Oops, it's kind of blurry. Let's see if I can fix my camera. All right. Okay, that's a little better, but yeah, it's analog, www.analog.co slash support slash 3D slash firmware. Uh, but again, I will leave that in the description so you don't have to copy it. Yeah, basically once you're on this page though, um, you're just going to want to go to uh, wherever it says latest here and then you're going to want to uh, download um, this uh, yeah, firmware here 
and you're going to want to download it into directly onto your uh, analog 3D SD card. Now, if you do have another one of these .bin files from a previous update, you're going to want to delete that first. However, I don't because yeah, this is just the the stock SD card. <laughs> so yeah, just uh, yeah, save this new .bin uh, file on there. Okay, and then yeah, it should uh, download pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, there you go. Yeah, for some reason it uh, failed the first time, so I had to uh, re-download it. Um, but yeah, anyway, just make sure that it, it does download completely, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, then uh, yeah, you can see here's the SD card again. So this is what your SD cards look like. Again, I just want to emphasize you only want to have one of these .bin files here. So if you have two of them, make sure you delete the old one. But yeah, at this point, I would usually say the best thing to do is to safely eject. However, as you can see, I'll show you, I'll just show you this. So see, I say safely eject or unmount the analog 3D. Um, but then when you have it connected with the console, um, like I do with the USB-C cable, then it actually just reconnects right away. <laughs> so what you're actually want, gonna wanna do is just uh, push the power button on the actual console and then it will turn off and then it disconnects and yeah. I think that's fine. <laughs> Just make sure that it's done copying before you uh, turn it off like that. So yeah, so then at that point, you can go ahead and uh, just unplug the cable you used to connect to your computer and then uh, just plug it back into the wall, plug it into your TV. So yeah, just like that, just using the original power brake that came with it. And then yeah, the HDMI cable is going into my TV. And then yeah, and then you can uh, just turn it on and then you're gonna wanna wait a little bit for it to update. Yeah, it says on, um, yeah, you can see it showing up here on the screen now. So yeah, just wait till it completely updates. <laughs> it might take a few minutes, but yeah, just wait for these bars to fill up and yeah, you don't want to turn it off while it's updating. Yeah, just let it do its, do its thing. I'm going to pause the video while it's finishing. Yeah, and actually, int interestingly enough, there's also uh, these controller ports down here that also correspond with uh, how far it is on the... It's like these lights on the controller ports correspond with how far it is for on the update process. So you can see it's uh, about 75% done. So yeah, there's uh, three lights lit up here. And also this LED is yellow, like yellowish green. Okay, and now it's on four, so it's almost done. Yeah, you can see that this is almost uh, done as well up here. Okay, and then uh, after that, then all four of these lights will flash quickly once it's all done updating, and then it should just start to boot again. Just give it a second here. Okay, there you go, so there's the regular analog 3d and uh, yeah then you are ready to play so anyway that is how you update the analog 3d let me know if you have any questions and yeah definitely uh, recommend the USB-C to a cable that seems to be a more reliable method you know that or just plug the SD card directly into your computer and yeah don't worry about the analog 3d console itself but, yeah anyway thanks for watching everyone we'll talk to you later Bye.